to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are finally going to be using the head that I made from the posable jaw tutorial. And we're also going to be using those posable feet that I recently made as well. And we're going to be making a dragon with them. I've been wanting to work with these pieces for a while ever since I did the tutorial. I've been trying to figure out what to do with them. And today we are finally going to mess around and make a dragon with them. Anyways, let's get started. So like I said, this dragon is part of two other tutorials that I recently did. One, I ended up making a poseable jaw, and the other, I made poseable feet. So in this tutorial, you won't really see me work on either one of those, but if you're interested in seeing how I made the poseable jaw or the poseable feet, I have both of those tutorials linked down below in the description. Anyways, now that I have that explained, let's get started on the painting. So what I'm going to start painting is the clay head, which we did in our posable jaw tutorial. And I want my dragon to be purple, so I'm going to start primering everything purple. While doing this, I'm just being careful not to get it on the teeth because I like the color that the teeth are and I don't want to paint over them. Once my initial primer layer is finished, I'm then going to start slowly adding details and just trying to figure out what I want the face to look like. Now originally I was thinking with this head I'd end up making a Chinese long dragon, but I ended up changing my mind after just kind of messing around with it and making a pattern. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. So once I was happy with the look of the face, I set it aside to dry and then I moved on to painting our resin claws for our feet. So I ended up picking some colors that I figured would work well with the other colors of the dragon. I got all of those painted. So once I had everything painted, I let everything dry for a little bit and then I mixed up some resin and painted that over everything that we painted with our acrylics. Now that's going to take about a day, maybe two, to completely cure. So while we're waiting on that, let's get started on all the sewing for our dragon's body. So after sketching for a while and trying to figure out how I wanted the body to look, I decided to use this pattern. So I want it to be kind of more bulky in the front and then it gets very thin and elegant in the back and we have a very long tail too. Also, you'll notice that on the pattern, I have a bunch of different markings laid out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up our body pieces into a bunch of different colors so we have some markings on the body. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get everything completely cut out and we can start sewing everything together for each pattern piece that we need. Then once we have all of our pattern pieces put together, we can start putting those pattern pieces together with the other ones. So I'm gonna start with the main body Body, and you'll see most of the colors that I want to use for this. So we have some purples, some grays, and we also have some greens. So the front portion of the body I want to have more of a purple color, then it's going to fade into a gray with some green stripes. So I'm going to get all these pieces sewn together and then we're going to move on to the legs. And the reason we're not putting the main body together together is because we're going to try something different with sewing the legs in place. So with the front and back legs, I want them to kind of be similar in color to the areas on the body that they are, and then I'm going to have them switch over to being black. So with the front legs, we're starting off with a purple, and then with the back legs, we're starting off with a gray and a green. So I'm going to get these pieces sewn together, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the under portion, kind of the more inside portions of the legs, and we're going to sew these onto the body first. So the main reason that I'm doing this is I wanted to try and see if it would be easier to sew the fabric for the legs in place before putting the body together. And depending on your fabric, I think it would be easier sometimes and sometimes it might just be easier to put the body together first. 
So it really depends. It wasn't too much easier, but I did get a nice clean connection by doing it this way. So once I had the inside portions of all the legs sewn onto the sides of the body, I took the outer portion of the legs and started sewing those together. So I'm just going to sew down the fronts of them, I'm going to still leave the backs of our legs open later because we are going to have a wire frame to this body. So now that we have all the fabric sewn into place for our legs on the body, we can take our two halves of the body and start sewing those together. So I'm going to pin our two halves together and I'm going to start sewing down the back of our dragon and just go all the way down to the tip of the tail. Another thing that I'm trying different with this dragon is how to connect the neck fabric. So if you notice, we haven't messed around with that too much. And that's because the body has sides, but the neck is going to have a top and bottom. So it's kind of like we're working one direction and then we're switching to working the other direction. So let's get started on the fabric for the neck. I've got a really cool idea for the back of the neck where we can give our dragon kind of a really interesting mane. So for our mane, I have some fur fabric, just some purple pieces that I really liked. I've got some yarn that's a really cool gray color, and I also have this really cool neon like plasticky type of fabric that I'm going to cut into different pieces to add to the mane. So I'm just going to take all of my different materials for the mane and I'm going to start sewing them together into layers. And I'm just going to keep going until I get to the length that I want our mane, which I kind of want it to go all the way down the back of the neck. And then once I have that all put together, I'm then going to add it to the rest of the fabric for the neck. So the fabric that's going to be the top layer of the neck, I'm going to cut in half, or almost all the way in half, and I'm going to start sewing this fabric in place between the two pieces. Then what we can do is we can start sewing the top portion of the neck in place on the body. Now at this point, I think it's time for us to start putting the rest of the dragon together. So we have all of our clay pieces, all of our resin pieces, and we're going to start adding everything to a wireframe. So I'm going to start with the wireframe that I have, and I have it more reinforced than normal because of how large this dragon is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fabric for the body and I'm going to figure out where the wires for the legs are going to go. Which is pretty easy, they just need to slide in place into the fabric where the legs are sewn into place on the body. So I'm going to cut some tiny holes into the fabric and then I'm going to take our wire frame and slide the wires for the legs through those holes. And basically we're just sliding the fabric over the wire frame like a piece of clothing. Next, I'm going to take our clay head and I'm going to attach it to the wire for the neck. So I'm just going to glue that in place. Next, I'm going to add some horns to the head. So I'm just going to attach these to the back of the head. And these are just some resin ones that I made a while ago and never had a project that I wanted to use them for and I finally decided to use them with this one. So like I said, I'm just gluing the horns in place and then I'm going to take the fabric for the neck and I'm going to start gluing it around the base of the head on the top. For the bottom, we have the other half of the fabric for the neck and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the top portion and glue it to the bottom portion of the head. I'm going to let everything dry and then we can start sewing and closing up the neck and the body. So I'm going to start with the two sides of the neck and I'm just going to keep going down until that's sewn and stuffed and then I'm going to continue sewing until I get to the tip of the tail. The whole time while I'm doing this I'm stuffing the body as I go just to make things a lot easier. Because it's just going to be a lot easier to stuff as you go instead of trying to stuff everything at the very end of the tail. Now at this point, we're going to start working on the legs of the dragon. So I'm going to attach the poseable feet that I made in a previous tutorial. Like I mentioned, if you guys want to see how I made these, check the description down below. I have both that linked and the tutorial on how I made the poseable jaw. 
Anyways, I'm going to attach them similar to how I attach my clay legs. I'm just going to add the wire frames together, wrap them together with a thinner gauge wire, and then we're going to sew the fabric for the legs to the fabric for the foot. If I was doing clay legs, I would just be gluing this fabric around the bases of the clay legs. And then once we have our feet in place, all we need to do is stuff and close up the backs of our legs. And now that the body of our dragon is all put together, we can start adding some decorations. I really like this part because you could just kind of throw whatever on the dragon that you want at this point and just keep decorating until you're happy with it. So for mine, I decided I wanted to glue some extra little resin bits and gems and stuff onto the sides of the body and the neck. And then I also wanted to add some scaling to the front of the feet, which I kind of went over this a little bit in the tutorial where I made the feet, but basically I just cut a bunch of felt pieces and I sewed them in place on top of the toes and going up the leg. This actually took quite a while, but I really liked how it looked. I also decided that I wanted my dragon to have some ears, so I threw together a pair of ears real quick and added them to the sides of the head. I also ended up furring the face because it just looked like it needed to be a little bit fluffy, especially since we had such a nice full mane around the head. Okay guys, and here is our dragon. I am so happy with him. He came out huge. <laughs> I tried out a new body style. I left this part really bulky and then I really slendered him out over here and made him really lengthy and thin. And I think he came out really cool. I can't wait to use the pattern on other dragons and stuff. Maybe something with wings. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, I'm gonna have him in my Etsy shop. So if anyone wants to give him a new home, check the links down below for that. Also, I've got a bunch of different art supplies linked down there as well, so that if you're interested in trying to make your own art doll, you can check out what I like to use to make mine. Now, these are affiliated links, so if you do buy anything through them, they do help support the channel. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.